we've all seen the footage on TV, people what, in crazy costumes intentionally jumping <laughs> into frigid water with a smile on their face. I know, well there's a bigger meaning behind that because they have really warm hearts and they want to give back to the Special Olympics of Michigan and that's especially true for the crew at Everdry Waterproofing of Greater Grand Rapids and co-owner Rob Van Silicum. They fly, flop, and definitely do what they can to look ridiculously themed and silly while taking the plunge in freezing temperatures. It's a tradition that many look forward to every year to help out the Special Olympics. Okay, we need to know how you even got the ambition to do this in the first place. Uh, well, ambition is a loose term, but uh, we had a Special Olympics athlete, a friend of mine from school, I ran into her after several years, uh, you know, after high school, and she has a son who's in uh, Special Olympics and he's an athlete and he's just an awesome guy. Well, he saw a video of me doing a skydiving uh, during the skydiving event and said, well, he's crazy, maybe he'll do this. And he challenged me to do the plunge and uh, with a couple days uh, and my wife and a few friends, we, we came up with a couple thousand dollars and we've been doing it ever since. That was well, back in uh, 2011. Oh, so, so this is gonna be what, your 11th year doing this? Correct. Yes. Wow. All right, so fast forward to this year. Um, obviously, in years past, you guys have had to come up with costume. The costuming is a big part of it, right? Yeah, it really is. It's it's all part of the fun, and we do different themes every year. And uh, we've had over 60, 70 people over the years come and go from our team, and uh, we just have a blast with it every year. In fact, we are, um, this year, um, since we started this, we've raised almost $115,000 for Special Olympics. Uh, this year alone, we're at about 11,000 for our team. We're doing it this year in uh, memory of Dan Sell, who actually unexpectedly passed away, and uh, we're doing it kind of as a tribute to him this year. But yeah, we just uh, we we get uh, we do a silent auction, we do uh, different fundraising events. This year, everything's got to be done virtual. Special Olympics uh, helps thousands of people just in Michigan alone. Um, to be included and to be treated fairly and justly and be part of sports and different activities that really give them, uh, you know, inclusion in day-to-day in -day life where they might not otherwise have it. How does one prep themselves mentally and physically for <laughs> jumping into that water? Um, you know, you just got to forget uh, being normal and just be crazy and, and just, you, you think of the cause itself. I mean, why you're doing it. Um, I have a lot of donors, uh, you know, just, just from my page alone, I'm at about $7,000 this year. I have to earn all those donations that they send me. So we got to do something crazy and you just got to suck it up on the cup and just jump in and, and uh, have fun with it. Well, it seems as Mother Nature's really cooperating this time of year, too, now that she's really, you know, cranked down the temperature a little bit for everybody. So the water's nice and frozen for all of you guys. So when and where is everything taking place? You said obviously it's different this year. Yeah, it is different this year. Everybody's doing kind of their own thing. Um, you do it on a virtual plunge, record it, and send that into Special Olympics, and they'll put it on their page, that kind of thing. We are um, putting our, our plan together right now. We have a pretty good thing you know, we're working on with the Grand Rapids Police and the Grand Rapids Fire Department. Um, our team is going to do, uh, going to be at uh, Richmond Park this year. We're going to tube down a hill in costume and then get our cold splash at the end. So we're kind of putting it all together still, but we got some crazy things in the works. That is so great. So people want to donate to the cause. Um, is there a time frame? I mean, and you, yeah, you want your donations because it's kind of like a nice bragging moment, but you want <laughs> them to donate to anybody that's taking part in this. So is there like a, a deadline for all of this? Uh, they're, they're, you know, Special Olympics doesn't stop, so all year long is fine. But for this polar plunge, um, the end of February is really our goal. Uh, some teams are plunging mid-month, some are plunging at the end. Um, there's a couple ways you can go about it. Like you said, any donation is a good donation. It doesn't have to be on the Everdrive Plungers page, but um, we're doing ours on the 27th. Uh, if you want to go to our page, you can either join, do your own team, but if you click on it, go to Everdrive Waterproofing Greater Grand Rapids, and you'll see the link there. Just click on it and it'll take you. You can either do your own team, do your own page, or donate to the Everdrive Plungers or, or any member. Um, it's a great cause. Um, I have some teams that are, that are just way ahead of us this year and 
It's fun to compete, but the bottom line is good for all of them. I mean, it's a win for everybody. Some have already done it and they've already posted them on their social media. Um, but I think the majority of the teams are going either mid to the end of February to before they plunge. So everybody's going to fundraise up to that point. Mm -hmm. um, and I think even 30 days after that, you can still donate for this cause. Uh, but you can donate year round for Special Olympics. If you want to get involved and do the plunge, do your heart a favor, you'll enjoy it. And we um, appreciate anything we can get for the cause. And again, if you go to Everdry Waterproofing Greater Grand Rapids, that's our fan page. Uh, there's a link posted there. Uh, we'd love your donation and it's just a, it's a very good cause. Well, I cannot wait to see this video after you guys do the tubing and then the splishing and the splashing, the shivering, and then the thumbs up because you're going to be okay, right? Yes, yes. And we'll get that video to you for sure. Uh, might be a little embarrassing to, to see our faces <laughs> afterwards, but we'll be happy to get it. Yeah. Let me tell you what. <laughs> They look forward to it, but they should. They've raised a ton of money. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. So whether you want to do snow angels in your swimsuit, hop into a kitty tub outside, or a good old-fashioned winter water balloon fight, you can all do the virtual polar plunge with all of those things in mind. How about I make a donation and take a hot shower? That Will sounds that like I am going to do that, too. <laughs> but anyway, you want to make sure that you go to uh, plungemi.com before February 28th. So about another week and some change left. So